Hi guys, Mechanized IT here, uh, back today for another tutorial video. This time I am going to cover how to build um, some tank tracks using my new blocks and tracks. Um, first, let me stop this thing. You can see that I do have it kind of working. It is a work in progress mod. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a little buggy. There's a lot of sparks, but I don't really think there's any damage going on because I can get my welder out and go over and have a look and uh, there's not really any damage so um, right now I just have some pistons to tension this chain let me go ahead and stop this and I'll get out and show you real quickly how to build one of these um, just the basic setup I'm sorry my nose is really stuffy today so I hope that doesn't interrupt the video very much um, let's just start a new large ship um, this is also available for small ships. Um, it's easier to uh, kind of build off of a big ship though because of the size and how um, precise you have to be when placing these blocks. Um, first of all, I'm just going to set down a couple of rotors. Um, two drive rotors. I think you should use as many drive rotors as you can. Um, for the power. Um, we can go ahead and we can put our sprocket on the end of the rotors like this. Um, let's put some power on this. And we'll set the rotors. We have to set the rotor displacement um, to about negative 5 I think so that it lines up with the middle of where the chain links are going to be placed. Um, negative 0 0.05, we'll try that. Oh yes, and we probably want to make sure that they don't spin. Because it looks like they're already wanting to do that. them to be at zero. Okay, now to start your chain link, first of all, let's look at the chain blocks. Now uh, we have a chain link. We also have a chain pin. <coughs> now basically the chain link is a rotor and the chain link pin is the top of the rotor. Okay, just keep that in mind. Now to start the chain, we're just going to put it on the side of a block like that. Now we don't need to put any more on blocks. We're going to build everything off of the chains now. Just like that. All we're going to do is we're going to come up here. If you'll notice there's a wide part in this chain and there's a skinny part. Um, the wide part, you can see the pin is right here. It's a narrow piece. Um, this pin looking thing is just a pipe that the pin goes into okay so you're gonna come to the wide part and we're gonna put our next chain link on that pin I'm gonna aim at the pin and place it just like that okay that's like putting another rotor on top of the top piece of a rotor okay and you see it goes around the chain just fine or the sprocket just fine now whenever you have to a turn you're gonna to have to come to the bottom or the top whichever way you're going and do it from the bottom like this you see what I mean by it being precise the only thing I can do to make this easier I think would be to make my models bigger so that you can aim at them easier um, but the way they are right now is the way that uh, it's kind of the only way I've found to do them. If I find a better way to do it, then I will definitely do that. Okay. So let me just quickly place these and I'll be right back for the last link. Okay, guys, I'm here at the last chain link. Um, we're just going to put the last one on, just like we've been doing. Um, it will go right there, but it is not connected to the first chain that the first chain link we placed, okay? Um, let me show you this chain link right here 
this block right here is the very first one we place, okay? And this one I just placed is the very last one, all right? But this pin in here is not connecting them, okay? So we have to remove this pin. We have to attach this pin to this chain link. It's like taking the top part of a rotor out and placing it on a block and then pushing that top rotor part back into the rotor base, okay? So we're going to remove this pin just by aiming right at the middle of that pipe on the top or the bottom. First let me get a block in hand so I can do it. Okay. Now you'll see there is no pin. There is just a hole. Okay, if also notice there is a notch right here on one side of the chain link. Um, there's also a notch you'll look closely there's a notch in the in the pin uh, it must be on the other side but there is a notch in one end of the pin okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the pin and we're gonna aim kind of at the middle of the first chain link see I'm aiming right at the middle and you'll see the chain pin right there but it's turned wrong so we're gonna turn that And you'll see, I think I see the little notch in the pin right there. It's hard to see, but if you look very closely, um, we can rotate it, and you'll see the difference. See, when I rotate it, there's a little notch there. Now, you have to get that notch on the same side as the notch on the link. Otherwise, it'll be like placing the rotor part upside down inside of the rotor base. Um, it will turn the whole chain 180 degrees. So all we have to do now is just place it and they are connected. The loop is complete <coughs> and all we have to do is remove that block and it is all free to move. Okay and I will show you that right now. If I can get there. Okay we're gonna go to our rotors um, and we'll just turn it up to like five And there it goes. Now you can see how sloppy they are because there's no tensioning. So, you know, if you run it like these, like this, eventually the chain is probably going to go off whenever you turn side, turn to the side. Um, so you definitely want to use some tensioners, like a piston, or if you're using my mods, you could use the rack and the rail maybe. Um, I haven't tried that. Um, let's go over the pads. I could have put the pads down before I did that, but. Let's just turn the rotors off and try to put some pads down. Uh, if you turn the rotors on very slowly, um, if you haven't put the pads on first, if you turn them on very slowly and let it move very slowly, it makes it easier to put the pads on. Okay, let's turn this down to like 
you know, let me know if anything is going wrong for you, if you notice any bugs, if there's anything you think I could do better. Um, and I will try to make things better um, as best as I can. Alright, well, good luck with your builds, um, and I'll see you guys later.